Chapter 10 Birbal and the Hundred Gold Coins Characters Emperor Akbar Birbal Akbar's brother-in-law Courtiers Narrator Scene 1 A room in Akbar's palace Akbar seated and in conversation with two courtiers Enter Akbar's brother-in-law Brother-in-law Greetings, Huzur Akbar I would like to be left alone with my brother-in-law the courtiers bow respectfully and leave. Akbar. What is the matter, brother? You look troubled. Brother-in-law. Huzur, if you allow, I have a request. Akbar. Yes, speak about what's in your heart. Brother-in-law speaks hesitatingly. Please do not trust the wily Birbal too much. He's not of our family. Akbar is all ears now. Brother-in-law. I am your relative and you can trust me. Birbal's services are no longer needed. If I am appointed in his place, the kingdom will benefit greatly. An outsider should not be allowed to get so close to you. He will misuse your blind trust in him. Akbar, in deep thought, speaks softly as if to himself. Hmm. Birbal has never let me down. He has never given me any opportunity to suspect him. Should I put him to the test? The brother-in-law is unable to hear what Akbar mutters to himself. Akbar, loudly. I will give it some thought. Before Akbar could make a decision regarding the matter, this news reached Birbal. Birbal resigned and left the court. Akbar's brother-in-law was made the minister in place of Birbal. Akbar decided to test the new minister. Scene 2. Akbar's court. Akbar is seated on his throne. His brother-in-law is seated next to Akbar. Courtiers are seated in the court. Akbar, holding out a bag of coins to the new minister. Spend these gold coins as that I get a hundred gold coins here in this life, a hundred gold coins in the other world, and another hundred gold coins neither here nor there. The new minister took the bag of coins in both hands, bowed respectfully, and left. The minister found the situation to be a maze of confusion and hopelessness. He spent sleepless nights worrying about how he would get himself out of this mess. Eventually, on the advice of his wife, he sought Birbal's help. Scene 3. Courtyard of Birbal's house. Birbal and the new minister are seated and in conversation. New minister. Birbal, please help me. The emperor has indeed put me in a dilemma. Birbal. Just give me the gold coins. I shall handle the rest. New Minister I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Scene 4 Street Scene Birbal walked the streets of the city holding the bag of gold coins in his hand. He noticed a rich merchant celebrating his son's wedding. Birbal, giving a hundred gold coins to the merchant and bowing courteously. Emperor Akbar sends you his good wishes and blessings for the wedding of his son. Please accept the gift he has sent. The merchant, feeling very honoured that the king had sent a special messenger with such a precious gift. I am greatly honoured. Please accept these return gifts for the king. The merchant made Birbal welcome and gave him a large number of expensive gifts and a bag of gold coins as a return gift for the king. Birbal accepts the gifts and gives them to his assistant to carry. Next, Birbal went to the area of the city where the poor people lived. There he bought food and clothing for the value of a hundred gold coins and distributed them in the name of the emperor. When he came back to town, he organized a concert of music and dance. He spent a hundred gold coins on the event. Scene 5. Akbar's Court Birbal, bowing down and addressing the king. Huzur. I have done all that you had asked your brother-in-law to do. Akbar with a surprised look on his face. How did you do that? Birbal repeated the sequences of all the events. The money I gave to the merchant for the wedding of his son, you have got back while on this earth. The money I spent on buying food and clothing for the poor, you will get it in the other world. The money I spent on the musical concert, you will get it neither here nor there. Akbar, looking at Birbal with great respect and pride. Akbar said, <laughs> I am proud of you, Birbal. You have once again proved your worth. Akbar's brother-in-law realized his mistake and resigned. Birbal got his place back as the emperor's advisor. Courtiers, 
persons in attendance at the court of a king. Huzul, an Urdu word, it is a title of respect for a person of high rank. Wily, cunning, resigned, voluntarily leave a job or an office. Maze, literally a complicated network of paths or passages designed as a puzzle. Here, a situation which causes confusion. Dilemma, a difficult situation or problem that cannot be easily resolved. Concert, a performance of music by one or more musicians or singers.